Hey, welcome to this week's edition of the Pool Guy Show. Today we're going to be talking about calcium buildup on your pool tiles and also on the pool surface itself. I also give you tips on how to treat the scale on your pool tile and also on the pool surface of your pool. This week's podcast is brought to you by InYourPools.com. InYourPools has been helping pool owners find the right pool parts in 2001 with over 50,000 pool parts in stock. Order online today and have the parts delivered right to your door. The podcast is also brought to you by Riptide Pool Vacuum System. The Riptide is a powerful vacuum system that gets large debris off the bottom of the pool rapidly. You can learn more about the Riptide pool vacuum system at www.riptidevac.com. So if you have a pool or if you do pool service, one of the things you're going to notice is that sometimes there'll be calcium buildup on the tile line of the pool, the rock formations, if you have flagstone, you'll notice this also, and also on the pool surface itself, whether it's pebble tech or regular plaster pool, the calcium scale is definitely something that happens over time. And what causes this is a combination of several factors. The first factor being high calcium hardness in your area. I'm talking over 400 parts per million. And in California, this is very common. We have really high calcium hardness in our tap water. We have well water here. So one thing I'll notice is that in my shower, the shower head is pretty clogged up. And also um, on the walls of the shower, there's scale buildup. Also my toilet, there's a scale line with the water line, usually if I don't clean the toilet in a week or so. So this is an indication of high calcium in the water source itself. And if you have a swimming pool and you don't keep the pH and alkalinity low, and when the temperature of the water rises, this will cause the calcium carbonate to form on the tile line, the water line of the pool. So it's a combination of having high calcium hardness in the water, the water the uh, temperature of the outside and the temperature of the pool rising, especially in the summertime, you'll see a lot of this. And having high pH, I'm talking over 8.0, and high alkalinity, probably over 140 plus. And you're going to see the scaling start to develop on the uh, tile line. So what happens is that the water will evaporate, and um, as it evaporates, it'll deposit itself on the tile line of the pool and you'll see a lot of this also on your um, on the deck itself or on the on the uh, pavement but it's hard to really notice it on the pavement around your pool or the deck around your pool you'll notice it a lot more on your tile line because you'll see the white develop um, indicating that there's um, calcium carbonate developing on the tile line so one way to test if your pool is developing scale or not is with the uh, Langlier Saturation Index, the LSI Index, and if you have a Taylor um, K2005, K2006 kit, it'll have a watergram uh, water balancing calculator in there. And this is the index that Taylor uh, Technologies uses. It's called the Langlier Saturation Index. And you take into account uh, certain factors, and when you equate them together, using the watergram, or you can also use an online calculator. I found a really good one, um, believe it or not, at Pentair. And if you type in, in Google Pentair support, and after you type in Pentair support, let me get over to that site real quick, um, it'll take you to a page. And on this page, you'll see um, calculators. Click on that link, and then you scroll down to the very bottom, and you're going to see the saturation index calculator. So click calculate there. And if you have your readings, uh, let's say that your pool is, the alkalinity is 140. Take that in there. The calcium hardness is 450. And the cyanuric acid, let's say you're at 100. And the temperature is 80 degrees. And the pH is at 8.0. Click calculate. And it's going to say, it's going to say that your index is at, the, the Langlier index is at 0.84, which water could cause some faint scaling, and treatment should be considered. So that's the best way to actually calculate it is to go to Pentair support, and then click on calculators, and then you'll see the saturation index calculator. 
very easy to use, and it's actually a great resource. Um, surprisingly, I found it on the Pentair site, which is interesting, but it's there, and definitely use that to see if your pool, if the, if the alkalinity and pH and calcium hardness, the water temperature, and the cyanuric acid level will all trigger the scaling of the pool. And if it does, then you'll have to, of course, lower your pH and alkalinity. I like to keep my pH around 7.4 in my pools. I like to keep the alkalinity at 80 parts per million. Sometimes it'll drift a little bit lower, and I'm okay with that if it's a little bit lower than 80 parts per million because we have really high calcium hardness here in California. So that's how you kind of calculate if your pool is getting scale. Obviously, if you see the scale on the tile line, or if you put your hand in the pool and you feel the scale on the plaster itself, or the pebble tank itself, you know that your pool is probably developing a scale. So what can be done to remove this scale? Um, so the first thing that I always like to tell people, and I got this analogy from one of the guys in my group, um, Bill in Las Vegas, and it's, it's a true analogy. Um, your, tiles, your tile is like your teeth. So you can maintain it, you can scrub them, and the scale is going to start to develop, and you can clean them as best you can with over-the-counter products. But over time, the scales is going to build up to a point, same as your teeth, where you would just have to go to the dentist every six months and get a cleaning done. And if you've ever been to the dentist, you know that when they remove the plaque, your teeth feel a lot better, usually whiter and cleaner. And that's the same thing with your pool tile. After a period of time, you're going to have to get professional cleaning done on your tile. And the best way to do this is to hire a glass bead company. They'll come out to your pool and drain down the water below the tile line. And they'll use a high pressure compressor filled with either tiny particle, tiny part of glass particles or glass beads. Or they'll use baking soda and they'll use this high pressure and shoot the tile, the, the white calcium off the tile itself. Very effective on most tile types. Um, they don't really do glass tile much because it's very fragile and they can actually shatter the glass tile from the inside if they put too much pressure on it. So but standard tile is definitely an excellent way to get the calcium off. If you have a pebble tech pool and you have a lot of scale, you can notice it a lot. If you have a dark colored pebble tech, you'll see a lot of white spots in the bottom of the pool and that's your calcium build up there and also feel really rough on your feet. You can actually drain the entire pebble tech pool Hire a glass beater to glass bead the entire surface, and they'll get all the calcium off the pool for you that way. It's highly effective. Um, if you have a, a 14,000 gallon pool, you're looking at maybe $800 to $1,000 for the whole procedure if you have the entire pool done. If you just want the tile line done in your pool and you have an average size pool, you're looking from anywhere from $300 to $500 to get the glass bead to get the tile line clean. And a lot of the companies will put a sealer after they do the glass beating to keep it from uh, scaling up quickly. So, you know, every year or two, you're going to have to have your tiles glass beaded if you live in an area with a high calcium hardness of the water. And even if you keep your pH and alkalinity balanced and scrub your tiles every week, over time you're going to get a buildup on your tile. It's just like your teeth. You can brush every day, floss, but over a six month period, you're going to get a lot of uh, buildup on your teeth. You're going to need to go to the dentist to have them uh, clean your teeth. Let's say you just have small amounts of scale built up, maybe on your spa spillway, where the water kind of where it runs off the edge and it kind of dries when the sun hits it. A good way to remove that is with a pumice stone. That's the old school way of doing it. You can also use my method. I like using uh, 220 wet and dry sandpaper. You want to just rub against the uh, calcium buildup with that and generally it'll take it right off. You may have to apply some force to it and it comes right off. You can try also some topical cleaners like Biodex 300 uh, or you can use a straight edge razor blade on it, box cutter, uh, the same way you would remove a sticker from your car window. If you're old school and you put a lot of stickers on your car, one way to remove a sticker and put a new one on is to wet it and get a razor blade and scrape that sticker off. And the same concept with your pool tile. If you have uh, some calcium buildup, just get that straight edge razor and scrape it right off. Uh, just note that it's going to wear the blade out fairly quickly, so you have to have a, a box of several of them uh, to do a large area. So that's the way you can get calcium off your pool. If it's a small amount or a really thin layer, you can do the whole pool yourself and it's pretty effective. But again, if the level is really thick and 
you scrape it, nothing happens, then you definitely need to get a glass beater out there. So you would just Google it, um, glass beating in your local area. You can also email me and I can point you in the right direction for someone in your local area. There's a few guys in the group, in my coaching group, that actually do glass beating in certain areas. So um, definitely email me if you want that done in your area. I can point out someone to you. And there's also a product that I tried recently that's really effective. Um, it's about $300, $350 for this product. It's called the Aquarex. And what it does is it attaches to your pipes by your pump and it uses radio waves to break up the calcium buildup on the tiles. It'll actually lighten up calcium buildup that's there, and it'll prevent calcium from building up on the tile. And it's proven highly effective in Europe. They use it on all their water heaters to keep the calcium from building up in there. And it's just coming over here to the States, and you'll see a, uh, more and more of this particular product as it's becoming a, an acceptable way of removing the scale from the tile. One thing I should mention is that uh, I'm going to also talk about scale on the surface of the pool itself, and I like the product Butech by Easy Care. And I've also tried using the Butech or the scale products where you fill the water above the calcium line, and then you put the product in the pool and keep the water level high for two or three weeks in hopes that that product will remove the calcium buildup from the pool. But in all honesty, I've never been able to have any product work in that method. So when the water level gets low again, the calcium is still on the pool tile line. So that method, in my experience, has uh, proven unsuccessful in just about every case. And it sounds like a good concept, something that actually would work. You just fill the water up above the tile line, put the product in the pool, and it'll take the scale off the pool, but it just never works that way. You really don't want to either also pour straight muriatic acid on the tile. It really is not effective. If you ever have done an acid wash, if you're a pool service professional, you know that the acid does nothing for the scale on the tile line. So whenever I tell a client I'm doing an acid wash for your pool and they see a lot of calcium build up on the tile, I always, I always recommend a glass beater to come out while the pool is empty and glass bead the pool because you could pour acid on there, gallons of acid, and it's not going to remove any of that scale from the tile line. So I don't recommend pouring direct straight acid on the tile. It's really ineffective. So if you have any kind of stonework around your pool, flagstone, or any kind of rock formations, uh, what you're going to see in this case is something called efflorescence. And this is when um, the calcium and scale comes out between the grout from, the, from a water feature. And this is really hard to remove too. Glass beaters generally don't work on flagstone because they can't guarantee the outcome. And you're going to see a lot of this if you have a rock water feature in your pool. Um, it's going to be really thick white calcium buildup, and it's called efflorescence. And very hard to remove is from the moisture coming out from behind the tile or stone and coming through the grout or the joints in the rocks. So definitely um, keep that in mind, too, that if you see this, you may have to live with the way it looks. It's kind of a natural occurring thing anyway in nature. If you go anywhere in the mountains, you're going to see it on all the rock formations. It's the same process that creates stalagmites, so um, definitely something to be aware of if you're going to have a pool built with rock formations or with flagstone. And this is what's going to happen. You're going to get a lot of scaling in that particular water feature around your pool. So let me touch on the, any kind of scaling on the pool plaster surface itself. I already mentioned the Pebble Tech. The best way to do the Pebble Tech is to drain the pebble tech pool and have a glass beater, uh, glass bead the whole surface of the pool. For a plaster pool, um, you can drain it and acid wash it, and at the same time to get the calcium off the pool, you're going to have to um, power sand the whole surface of the pool where you feel the calcium buildup. A lot of times you do an acid wash and it's really stained and it's not lifting off the pool surface, chances are there's calcium covering the stain. A good way to to tell if the stain is underneath the calcium during an acid wash is to get some sandpaper and rub the spot and then pour some acid on the uh, spot you just rubbed off the sandpaper. And if the stain lifts off the pool, then you know that there's a layer of calcium that's uh, on top of the stain in the, in the pool that you're acid washing. So to remove very hard calcium buildup in a pool that's plaster, if it feels really bad, um, if you rub your hand on it and it feels like you're going to cut your hand, I definitely recommend draining the pool, power sanding the pool down, 
in an acid wash in the pool and you're going to get really good results. You're going to feel the surface being really smooth again. And then of course watch your um, chemistry in there going forward. Now you can also do this without draining the pool. I filmed a video on the Butech product by EC Care and this has an enzyme in it that's been proven to get behind the calcium and kind of lift it off the surface. And I know it works. I've used it on several pools. I've had several pools that were started up improperly and it developed a lot of scale after six months. And I've successfully used the Butech product to remove the scale from the pool. So there's a process to it and definitely going to need, of course, the Butech product added to the pool and then aggressively brush the surface with a stainless steel brush or with a sandpaper attached to the brush and brush vigorously every week that you service the pool and add one bottle of Butech when you first start the process, add the um, maintenance amount, of course, and add more if you need to. And within two or three months, you're going to see the pool surface smooth again. The scale will be done completely uh, from the whole surface area, and I've done this successfully. Now, the reason why I don't use the um, Scale Tech by Easy Care is that that requires very low chlorine levels in the pool to be effective. So if you're doing this in the wintertime, you can definitely use a Scale Tech. It is probably a little bit more effective than the Butech, but the Butech will work no matter what the chlorine level is in the pool, and I prefer that product. And the results are pretty amazing if you um, keep the pH low, keep the alkalinity, alkalinity low and use a butane product in the pool and aggressively brush the pool with a steel brush. You're going to see really good results with the butane and it's really effective in removing the scale um, on, a plast on a plaster pool. So definitely that's an option for you. Again, if the scale seems like it's at a level where this won't work and only a, a really uh, cool professional that, that has done a lot of acid washes and it's dealt with scale can tell you that yes, this needs to be drained and sanded down, or we can try a topical product like Butech and get the scaling down. So it's very effective. I think that um, if you go out to your pool and you notice that there's some scaling there, definitely pick up the Butech, uh, dump the bottle in there, and to start the treatment, and you're going to see some really good results. The key, I think, is to get onto the scale as soon as you see it forming in your plaster pool. And not to wait until it's a full-blown um, thick scale that you have to drain an acid wash and power sand the pool down. So the recap, there's not much you can do if your uh, water is very high in calcium hardness. You're going to have to just keep the alkalinity and pH low to prevent scaling from forming rapidly. It will form over time. And just like your teeth, you have to get them clean. And so um, definitely think about hiring a glass beater to blast bead your tile line to get the scale off of there. You can try the other methods that I mentioned first if you want. Um, but ultimately, if you really want to scale down, you have to hire a professional and clean it. And there are many really good companies out there in different areas of the country that will do that for you. And if you have scale on the plaster, again, your options are to drain, power sand it, or try the Butech product and see if it's effective. If you try the Butech product for three months, and you find it's, it's not as effective as you want, you can still feel some roughness, then you have to drain an acid wash the pool. That's the only way to actually get the drain an acid wash and sand the pool down. That's the only way to get the scale off in that case. So I hope you found this helpful with the scale in your pool. And if you have any questions, you can definitely email me, and I'll be happy to answer any questions about scaling in your pool. If you're a homeowner looking for more resources, you go to my website, swimmingpoollearning.com, and on that website I have an ebook available. I also have a new print version of this book available on Amazon.com. And if you're a pool service professional, you can also go to my website, swimmingpoollearning.com, check out my coaching program. This program has really taken off. I have over 115 pool guys in there right now and gals. And one of the things that's really popular is the group chat to the group me app. And when you sign up, you'll be, um, you'll, I'll let you into that group chat. You can also text me in real time or call me, depending on which level you sign up for. And I keep the rates extremely low. It's $10 a month to text me, and it's $20 a month to text and call me. You can call me whenever you're at an account, you're having a problem with something, uh, you can't get a valve to turn in the right direction, or if you're at a, you can't get the system to turn on, I'm definitely going to be there to help you over the phone. And you can also text me. And also, by joining the group, you get 10% uh, off the 
general liability insurance through SPPA or SPA as they call themselves. And you also will get 10% off the Riptide pool vacuum system. So those are some great side benefits for being in the group. You also get a copy of my ebook sent to you once you join the group. So definitely check that out. If you're a homeowner, the group's open to you also. I have about four or five homeowners in there right now. And I help them with their pool care needs one-on-one. -on -one. So if you need more resources or help, I have that available to you. And you can, again, find all this information on my website at swimmingpoollearning.com. Thanks for listening to this week's podcast. Have a great rest of your week, and God bless. The Pool Guy Podcast Show.